All right. We're still here in Heritage Hill. And we have a few things to do. A couple houses to investigate. But then also the tower. As you wish. I want to start... Now that most of the undead are cleared out. With the uh, mysterious Vaultus Manor here. We might be getting ahead of ourselves. But, um... Too curious. So my cat is okay. I would hate for curiosity to kill it. We're able to get inside. Let's go ahead and. I shall um, be quiet as a calm sea, which is not very quiet. Right. I was gonna say quiet as your um voice so loudly echoes through these halls. Let's see, this is okay. There we go. That's the formation. Can't go. No, we can go that way. Broken chairs, upended tables, and shattered vases block the stairs. Splintered planks shift precariously. Huh. Are they trying to, uh, funnel me? Mm, that fire is lit. That's a little creepy. In fact, that's very creepy. No traps. Just some who knows how old beer. Well, guess let's open the door. Yeah, that's about what I expected. It's a giant map room. Um, let's make sure our. Uh, Melee fighters are actually at the front there. All right. Hey. Why don't you trigger them? There we go. And all of you go there. I'm ready. Perfect. Now, we got a few. And cast your arcane strike. Um, Kana can't do anything yet. We'll uh, move you forward. And I have a better one for them. I mean, silent scream if I could, but let's go with shock for now. Well. That should be good enough for uh, now a little closer. Come on, get closer, Dargles. Good. All right. Um. Get a flames of devotion on injured Dargle. So much for you. Finish that one. And you have enough. Silent scream. That, uh, did you get it? Oh, whatever. They're not too dangerous, anyways, I suppose. Hi. That's it. So much. Pretty straightforward. As you wish. It's interesting that her sm her uh, smite ability, her um, I'm ready. flames of devotion, don't seem quite as strong as what I expect them to be. But we can upgrade their strength, I suppose, and leveling. It does get stronger with level. Deerwood Part Two: The Broken Stone War. Oh, Lord Valtus's will. That sounds interesting. 
a last will and testament has been carefully drawn up on the stained, on a stained peak of, uh, piece of sackcloth. It lists Lord Valtus's various titles and holdings, ending with the following. Should no member of my family survive, it is my wish that my wealth and property be dispensed to the Crucible Knights. Hmm. Let my wife and children and me be buried with my forebears in the Valtus family tomb at the right hand of Duke Hadrit. Oh. Wait. Duke Hadrit's not in the Valtus family tomb, is it? Maybe the Valtus family tomb is right next to Duke Hadrit's tomb? Signed, Valerio Valtus, fifth lord of House Valtus. Well? The screams of the damned I can hear on the wind. Lovely. And what does the flame reveal? A few more. Wait, Lord Valtus? Sida, let us in! Lady Valtus, it's safe! Come out now! Is it? You're stanced a little weird. Open the door, Saida. The female Dargul, yeah. Ah, uh, so there is a survivor, though. The female Dargul sniffs the air and whirls around, hissing. Survivor! Yeah, Lady Valtus, Lord Valtus, and Emilio Valtus. Let's, um, not bother there. All right. Well, um, I doubt they're all that particularly strong, but... Oh, there's more of them. Uh, go ahead and attack Lord, uh, attack the ghoul. Okay, you get out of there. There you go. You know, attack the Dargul or something. And, yeah, attack. Attack the ghoul. There we go. Alright. And let's have some fun here. Sorry, Amelia. Oof. Alright. Let's have some, uh... Some more fun. <laughs> and then with that, let's enter into them. Let's see. You still have some. Let's go ahead and use um shock. So much for you. How we doing? Pretty good, actually. Lord Valtus is almost down. That dark is almost down. This should finish one of the dark off, I think. If that doesn't do it, then, uh, this certainly will. There it goes. Why don't we get a smite on Lord Valtus here? There we go. And your remaining smite. Well, before I, um, try and talk to whoever's behind there, Let's see what's in this room. Slowly now. Traps? No? Yes. Are you sure? Ooh, the Valtus Manor key. This ornate brass key displays the symbol of House Valtus, crossed sword and spear. I want to try talking to the person first, actually. Before I'll I grab that. see it done. It's finished. Not bad. Three fifty-three copper. All right. I'll see it done. It's finished. Oh, silly me. I guess um. Yeah, it wasn't a key only. Keeping an eye out. 
Hello? Wait, is she... Saida not here? Oldest groundskeeper letter. This is a note addressed to the household staff. Please see to it that the family mausoleum is swept and the marble polished. The key is hanging, as always, in the kitchen by the oven. Oh. Oh, well, there's a little black and white kitty in this chest. Aw. Poor cat. Yeah, apparently those, uh, the lord and lady of the manor weren't actually in here. Or, uh, were mistaken about someone being in here. One light shines uh, from behind the map. There's a ragged hole to the outside, as if someone dug through. Uh, I see. Well, I think we know where they escaped to. Basically, they said the key's hanging right over here. Yeah, this seems uh, to be the hook mentioned in the letter, but the mausoleum key is missing. Oh. All right. Poor Saida. Imagine the uh, son or daughter of the Baltuses. Right, oh, I see. By the stat, right next to the statue of Duke Hadrid is what they meant. Fair enough. Yep, right there. Let's try uh, talking to her. A little girl cowers in the back of the tomb. Her face is streaked with dirt, and even in the shadows, you can tell she's far too thin. She watches you, holding her breath. God, how long has she been here? Oh! It's all, it's all right. You're safe. <laughs> what is this what kids do for fun? Jeez! Not the time. It's all right. You're safe. She inches into the candlelight. Her clothes are a little more than filthy rags now, but ripped and stained fabric looks like embroidered silk. Hmm. You, you, you have to be quiet. The noise brings the hungry people. Aw. Don't worry, Saida. The hungry people have been dealt with. Madicho! How did she survive in this place? My name is Saida. Are you hiding from them too? She watches the door of the vault, her eyes wide and careful. You're Saida? I came across some dargles in a house. The girl's eyes widen. You saw mother and father? And Emilio? How did you get away? I don't want to tell her I killed them. Those aren't your parents anymore. She picks a thumbnail, watching you. She nods slowly. Yeah. I don't want to tell her I killed them, but... Who are the hungry people? Although I did sort of sidestep her question there. She whispers and her eyes are round, and round with terror. The ones outside. They don't sleep or die, but they eat. Tell me what happened to you. Eyes take on a distant look. Her legs start to tremble. Be strong. You're str You're frightened, and you've been stuck here for far, far too long. But try to remember what happened before. She takes a deep breath and stares at the stone floor. There was a big noise and light in the sky. Everyone thought it was a storm, but then people started waking up. After they died, I mean, they. She twists her shredded sleeves with it, sleeve into knots. Oof. Yeah. Curious about this big noise and light in the sky, though. I wonder if it's related to the leaden key and their activities. Mother and father and Emilio boarded up the door, but the hungry people found our house. Her fidgeting becomes more agitated. They fought, but the hungry people always get up again. They broke through the door, and Mother told me to hide. Then I came here to hide, but the door got stuck, 
I didn't know when I would be safe outside. Hmm. I already know the answer, but where's your family? At the house. Mother told me to hide and not let anyone in. Then I heard a lot of noise, fighting and yelling and... Her eyes glaze over. And then Mother told me to open the door again. But she didn't sound right. You're a very smart girl. Good instinct. You need to get out of here. Is it safe? Are the hungry people out there? It's still dangerous. The path to the main gate should be clear. Run for it. I mean, I am willing to escort her there. It is hardly out of my way. I'm not so cruel as to make a child... To leave a child to run through a undead infested <laughs> land. I won't let anything catch me, I promise. Good. Hopefully the Crucible Knights can help her. Oh. Ow! Oh, hang on! Oh, I walked right into that one. Iridescent scarab figurine. Really? I took that for a scarab figurine. That's pretty valuable, at least. This outer figurine is uh, shaped like a small beetle. Its colorful shell catches the light in strange ways, changing hues as it turns in, uh, turned as it's turned in one's hands. What is it? Oh, you can hear the kitty meowing. That's um. And what does the flame reveal? Be a bit more careful. Nestled among the candles are the odds and ends of a patchwork family memorial. Valine Lusk's cameo etching of a woman in finery and a turquoise necklace. Hmm. Well, it seems to be okay, but... These vaults are sealed shut and sticky with cobwebs. Oh, boy. That's what I love sticking my hand in. Things I'll do for money. I really want to check in on that girl, make sure she got back there safely. I also need to rest after that. Well, maybe we'll run into her sometime. What is it? Looks like that task is completed, though. All right, the other house, Ikanta house, Ikanta's house. We, um, should rest first. More lit fires. Uh, hello, Kantha. As you wish. You, uh, alive over there. Buddy. A woman bends over a roaring fireplace a splintered chair leg into it. As you get closer, you notice something unnatural about her. A certain pallor to her skin. A lack of movement beneath her flesh, even while her arms execute deft, efficient movements. And then you see the puckered flesh, ragged and bloodless, over her heart. Ooh. We should think about just killing her first and having you talk to her. <laughs> uh, wow, Edder. We should think about just killing her first and having you talk to the body. It's rude to stare, you know. <laughs> Don't worry. I've no mind to start anything with you. After all, I've stayed in such good shape by choosing my meals carefully. Huh. I'm impressed you, uh... have retained your sanity. Wait, did I? I saw you in a vision. There's something I need you to do for me. When did I see her in a vision? Who are you? A survivor. By the grace of my own careful preparations. When I heard the claws scrabbling at the door outside, I took care of matters myself. And since then, I've been careful to keep myself fresh and fed. So you killed yourself to prevent you from becoming one of those creatures by them killing you? Well, also, I assume, uh... They were no longer interested in you. 
Huh. You know what happened here? An incredible act of animancy. Of a mm. magnitude this part of the world likely hasn't seen since Anguithan times. Someone found something very powerful and ancient. And I'd bet my own preserved life it wasn't Aldhelm or his lovely assistant. Wait, this is... Right. You're not the one I'm supposed to seek out. They said in the tower, didn't they? Not near the tower. I still don't understand why this district is full of walking corpses. Yeah. She spins from the fire to face you. Because someone found a way to tether their souls to their bodies, don't you see? Oh, wait, yeah, we've heard about this before from some animancers. She taps her skull with an impatient finger. Or no. This is what happens when you tether animal souls, isn't it? So when the heart stops beating and the blood stops flowing, their bodies still animate and with a newfound hunger. So actually, I think we've heard about this, uh, this as well. I think a similar thing happens for both. She turns back to the fire. Those that can't feed or those that can feed it with living flesh and essence stay strong and sharp. Those that can't degenerate quickly. Hmm. I see. Tell me what you know about uh, Aldhelm. His name barely merits repeating. He's a charlatan who likes to dig up pretty artifacts and call himself a scholar. The pity with Animancy these days is that just about anyone can claim to be an expert. What? Is that Old Helm the one in the uh, sanitarium, though? I see. I saw you... <laughs> she smirks. I truly doubt that. I saw you in a vision. There's something you need to do for me. <laughs> Believe me, I've heard that line before. Hmm. Guess not. It's time for me to get going. Did I actually see her in a vision, though? Not one of the quests there. Is it, um... No. Oh, no! She is the woman I saw with a scar over her heart. I guess I have to enter the tower before I can talk to her, though. Yes. Fair enough. Nice and quiet. Just in case she has it trapped. I'll see it done. It's finished. Nothing special. I'll see it done. It's finished. Um, prisoners. I seem to have stumbled into something I shouldn't have. Ooh, spider fingers. Something, or someone, snapped this candelabra in two. You, you're not one of Ikantha's servants. Please, you've got to get us out of here before she feeds on us. Her source of flesh. I see. What happened to you? We're just groundskeepers. When the district fell into chaos, Ekantha took us in. Said we'd be safe until the knights got things under control. Instead, she locked us in here. Every week, one of those monsters who serves her comes in and takes one of us away. I don't know what she's doing. But sometimes we can hear the screams. I think she might be the powerful Animancer. Please, get us out of here. Stay here for the moment. I, um... I don't want to break this quest line. I need to investigate the tower. Definitely need to investigate that tower. 
All right. Time to enter. The massive stone door of the tower is sealed, and it, there doesn't appear to be any way of opening it. Speak the words you learn from the leaden key acolyte. You hear rumbles and clanks from hidden tumblers as the door unlocks. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh. I just saw that I can actually change my portrait if I want. Yeah, I can. Cool. I can make myself less sinister as well. something in there. I'll see what I can find. Well, get to the top of the tower in Heritage Hill. Yeah, uh, these might be the servants they were talking about. She was definitely lying to me. At least partially. The mattress is lumpy and smells of old straw. But whoever slept here last made it pretty neatly. Is this essence shimmers and pulsates within the strange device? Huh. A couple revenants as well. Well, shall we kick up a fuss? Alrighty. Um. You two? No, no, no. Just sort of go forward. I'm ready. All right. Um, engage. Everyone else. Also, uh, engage. Oh, we have a skeletal wizard over there. Um, give it a nice interruption, please. Why don't I have you attack that ghoul? Or the skeletal wizard. Now yeah, let's go for the ghoul. How may I help? What? Alright, um, interdiction, please. Good. Uh, I'll let them to back off a little bit, though. Have my whispers. Good. Ooh, that hurt. All right, it's time for uh, hold the release. I am going to have Aloth, Gwyneth, and Kana attack the uh, injured uh, wizard. Already back to 62. I did cast Silent Scream, didn't I? Our thoughtless alien isn't doing so well. Yeah, I did. Good. He's almost down. Good. Aloff, please don't get attacked too much. Um. Oh, she's down. Wow. Didn't even notice. Guess she can't revive herself. How may I have? <laughs> Let's um get another one of these shell shocks here. So much for you. Yeah, Aleph, you really shouldn't be right there doing that. It's not your job. There we go. Well, alrighty then. What's your injury? Minus 15 deflection. Eh, not great, but not worth wasting a rest over before we use up our resources. As you wish. Crumpled 
page from Aldhelm's journal. Trindig's letter. Let's check the journal page first. Day 7. A week of study, and we're still none the wiser about this device. Trindig remains optimistic. I don't know what I'd do without his spirit. Hmm. Trindig's letter. Dearest mother and father, you will be pleased to hear that I've learned much already since coming to the city. There are many incredible ruins nearby. Master Greg has allowed me to accompany him on a number of expeditions. And these ruins always seem to be, seem to be trouble. Presumably this is a set of Ingwithan ruins. I am writing to you from inside an ancient Ingwithan tower. Yep. There's an entire district built up around it. The locals have mostly left the tower untouched. They have let us set up temporary living quarters here so our work can continue uninterrupted. It is an unsettling place at times. But Master Greg has been a constant comfort, and he is quick to remind me that things we learn from this tower may one day help us find a cure for Widewind's legacy. Oh, so this is relatively recent. I'd better get some rest now. Mr. Greg uh, likes to get an early start to the day. All my love, Trindig. Hm. So, uh, old, um... Yeah. So, old Helm, um... Was helping... Tr Wait, is old Helm Greg? Maybe. I guess we'll see later. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Mm, a few skeletals. As a calm sea. Mm, just some rogues. Oh, the wizard too. Let's go ahead and uh, Which grab is... the wizard. Everyone. No. Get in there. All right, and attack the wizard. It. Here we go. And attack the fighter. Let's see. Eh, might as well get the skeleton. Right. Very good. That is so strong. Radiance. What? That's the. Did you, did you cast it? Oh, there we go. And then an interdiction. Sure, that should be the first thing I cast, but. Let's not go down here. Get that fighter off. Still alive. There we go. I need something. Oh, another wizard was here the whole time. Hasn't been used in weeks. Was these both of these beds were probably the ones used by uh, Trilla, uh, right, Trillig? Trindig. Used by Trindig and uh, Old Helm. There's something ahead. Oh, hello. Mind if I do? Let's see, wizard revenant. All right, everyone, go for no! it. No oh, prisoners. So. All right. Um. First things first. Boom. Aloth. Boom. And boom. Like you. Got you. 
Use it. You cast? Why are you not casting? Someone in your way. Kana. Yes. There we go. Narrow passageways are our enemy. What is it? Hmm, iron skin. Power. Saint Widewin. Farmer become god. That sounds interesting. Let's put that in your inventory. Oh, another page from Aldhelm's journal. Day two. We've completed our measurements to the, of the machine. Thanks to Trindig's useful, uh, youthful agility. Aldhelm seems to really respect Trindig. Further examination is required to discover its intended use. This isn't the same kind of machine that I ran into outside that first in Gwythin Ruin, is it? I wonder. It hasn't petrified anyone like that one did. Though I might be misremembering the details of what exactly it did to those people. But, um... Huh. Slowly now. Oh, a Dargul. Slowly now. What else are we dealing with in here? Reven uh, Revenant... Darghouls. Um, could probably break them up. <laughs> this should be easy enough to take out. Oh, well, she's paralyzed. Oh, that causes problems. Um, boom. And. Boom. I'm Just the two. A little bit easier. Take them one at a time. No, no prisoners! <laughs> one group at a time. Um, you still in range? Not quite. Get a little closer. And give me that um over here. No. Use it on uh right Yes. Or not. A folded page from Aldhelm's journal. Oh, day 10. Patrons grow impatient with the lack of quantifiable results. They should drag themselves out of their mansions and spend a few nights here if they think it's so easy. Hmm. Yeah, some things never change. As you wish. Lay in low. Jesus traps. Sigil of the Arcane. Arcane Dampener wants per rest, but also plus one intellect. Faux AoE. Beneficial effects suspended for 15 seconds. Hmm. That might prove useful for, I don't know, Aloth, maybe? Oh, a letter from Ikantha. Aldhelm. I did indeed receive your recent summons as well as the two that came before it. I've been waiting for you to present yourself on my doorstep so that I could give you my answer in person. A firm and unwavering no. She does not like Old Helm. I got that. The sense of that from before. I won't help you. In fact, I relish the idea of you and your team of glorified engineers sitting in that tower, sweating over the runes I have studied for years. Nothing gives me greater pleasure than knowing that my research with you uh, which you've long disparaged, is the missing piece in your mundane little puzzle. Ho, ho, ho. 
I do appreciate this level of vindictive spite. Um, as you well know, it's knowledge I've always valued. I'm just around the corner. I encourage you to find me should you wish to rehash this conversation in person. Yours truly, Ikantha. Damn. I mean, she's eating people, so... Probably need to kill her at some what point, is it? but, um... I kind of have to like her a little bit for that level of spite. Pulling, pounding energy in the machine feels even stronger up here. Well, let's go ahead and take these guys out. Oh, there's a bunch of them now. Um... Hi. Interdiction. Yes. There we go. And get a little closer. And that revenant looks a little stronger to me. Why don't you um three attack it? There we go. I'm curious how much damage it actually does. Let's see. Twenty-seven and twenty-three shock damage. Quite nice. What is it? I guess soon. That's it! Did that not do a lot of damage to it? Yeah. 14 slash plus, plus uh, 12 burn. Not great. Terrible, but so much for you. All right, that should be everything in here, I think. Another page, day eleven. Finally got out of the tower to clear our heads. Beasts take the patrons. We'll finish the study on our own terms, our own time. Just as I said, as much. Or just as I said as much to Trindig, the sky came to life with stray lightning. Or with stray lighting. I said it's a good omen. The poor lad spooked. Only care for that is a good night's sleep. Huh. So they didn't actually do it, or at least not on purpose. That's what Iacantha actually was saying. That they aren't capable of such a feat of animancy. Works of the Inguithans, a comprehensive guide. The scroll contains a pen and ink diagram of the Adra device running through the tower. Despite copious measurements and carefully drawn detail, it gives no indica indication of the machine's purpose. Hmm. Wonder how many floors are on this tower? Oh, well, that answers that question. No, this seriously, if, I might be misremembering, but this looks very similar to the one, um, oh, hey, Aldhelm. The one in the other Ingwithin rune. Let's try this configuration. Still nothing. Huh. Confounded device. He's very frustrated. But alive. What happened to Trindig? Standing near the device feels like being blown about by a storm gale. Stone hums with energy, but the stone steps hum with energy. Hey there, Aldhelm. 
A man hunches over the strange mechanism, his spine a sharp ridge rising from his arched back. He bar his, he's barely clothed in filthy rags, and the patches of skin you see are mottled green. A spoiled stench emanates from him. He's so intent on his work that he doesn't notice you until the shadow falls over him. Hmm. I'm worried about that. I'm not sure if it's just because he hasn't cleaned himself or if he's another one of the... the hungry ones. When he turns and sees you, he snarls and scuttles behind the Adra pedestal. Only his bared teeth seem to have escaped decay. His eyes are yellowed and bloodshot. They flicker with intelligence. He averts his gaze and holds a hand in front of his face. Shouldn't be here. What do you want? Be here. Oh. What do you want? Oh, he actually voiced it for him, for me. Thank you, old helm. Um. Who and what are you? Years at Brackenbury. Seven tours to the ruins beyond Solace Vale. I'm an animancer. Still an animancer. I see. Oh, uh, he closes his eyes for some... Holds the sides of his head. His eyes snap open. Yes. His gaze lights on the Adra post with sudden recognition. He starts to turn back to the copper dials. Tell me what happened here, if you know. Trying to figure out. I see. He smashes a fist into the Adra pillar. His hand makes a crunching noise, but he doesn't bleed. He covers his face with his other hand. I mean, it's not up to me to forgive you. You haven't done anything to me personally. We came to do research on the tower. Some commission from gods. It hardly matters now. Hmm. I mean, is it the leaden key you received a commission from? Given the catastrophe that followed, a commission in your research might matter a great deal. Yeah, they very well might. Keep talking, Aldhelm. Stick to the present. When did the disaster start? Happened on our eleventh night. Lights in the sky and a static charge in the air. But we were so careful. We were staying in the chambers below. Trindy, mm. my assistant, said he saw a robed figure lurking around the tower. Wore a mask. Huh. Carried knives at his sides. A trick of shadows, I told him. The next morning, we felt strange. Like we hadn't eaten in weeks. Probably not Ikanta. So dazed that we didn't at first notice the blood around our beds. The strange wounds that had appeared overnight. Right. This cursed spire! Dormant for 2,000 years. Lifeless through hundreds of our experiments. And we wake that morning to find it spinning on its own. On its own! <laughs> How can we stop what we couldn't start? Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, I imagine the masked person is the one who started the machine. That person was probably with the leaden key. I mean, the leaden key wanted us to find Ikantha. But, um, hmm. I mean, the way she was talking, it didn't sound like, uh, she started it. But she very well, I suppose she might have. As exciting as the prospect of a living machine may be, I suspect that, given mention of a machine and a masked figure both, there is another explanation. I've been doing this years. I know how these things work, but I, I don't know hmm. how this happened. Nowhere to go. That's the problem. Their souls are trapped here like flies in a jar, clinging to rotting meat. Right. You know, this prevents their souls from uh, leaving. Their bodies. I kind of wonder if. I mean, I like I said, I've long suspected that uh, that whatever it was they were doing 
at the very start of the game. It's related to the uh, Wade, Wade, Wide Wind's legacy. Perhaps a direct cause, but um, I'm just thinking this might provide a possible mechanic as to how it does that. Mean. There is a shortage of souls in this area. If, uh, I don't know if the gods care about that kind of thing. But, um, hmm. Maybe that's why there are none available to, uh, for newborns. Slow down. What does the machine have to do with souls? Just slow down. But I, I can explain. Hold a magnet over iron splinters and they stick. Yes. Yeah. Rub your hand over weir wool and the hair of your head will follow it. Right. So it is with this machine. But with souls. He looks at you and runs his tongue along the edges of, edges of his fine, strong teeth. He quickly looks away. To manipulate souls, but why? For what? And how many others lie buried in the ruins of Air Glanfoth? What, no. souls or towers? Focus on this Machines. Way. It's imprisoned our souls in our bodies. Cut the root between essence and flesh. Left a dwindling soul stuck in a shriveling husk. Right. You're not like the ghouls in the streets. Not but yet. I be. My body is dead. My soul. Imprisoned in this right. corpse only makes it seem otherwise. And as the body decays, so does the mind. Yeah. Until nothing is left but the hunger. <laughs> the only way to forestall the process is through a regular infusion of essence. Basically zombies. Living flesh is the only ready supply. And I'm guessing I know what happened to Trindig. Out of any of it. Hunting men and women in the early days of the affliction. Picking off soldiers that came to investigate. But I'd do it again. I'll do it as long as I must to end this disaster. Don't even think about trying anything with me. Help me end this. Help me find sustenance. <laughs> what, like the ones Ikanta has? Um... There was a stranger in the tower the night this happened. My assistant, he saw him. We laughed. Said he was spooked by the cemetery. Perhaps it was already too late. I don't know what he did. But by morning, the machine was on and we were slain. People mm. were already on the streets. Complaining of neighbors and family members acting strangely. I... So I wonder if everyone in the area was dead. Or just a select few. And then the chaos is spread from there. Or... I also wonder if it's the machine that killed you. And also trapped your souls. Or... That masked, masked person probably... Could have, um... Gone around and just... Killed some people. Hmm. What happened to the rest of your team? Even though I already know the answer. I realized what had happened. The district had already been sealed. So we fed when we needed. And locked ourselves in the tower to work. And then there came a time when the hunger struck. And there was hardly anyone left. Right. Yep. Like I said, I knew that was coming. How can I help? The help I need. It's... Herodin, shrew, squanders what? her research on frivolities. Oh, the Kanta. Refuses to make herself useful. Runes. The runes are the last part of the puzzle. Ekantha knows them. She gives them to you, and you can turn the machine off. Release our souls. Ah, uh, yeah. All right. I'll go have a chat with her. I needed to have a chat with her anyways. After I found her prisoners. Wait. Runes. The Ingwithin runes? She can read them. He speaks of this feat so blandly. Let's talk instead of this Herodin. 
Uh, instead to this Herodin, Gwyneth. I'd pick her thoughts a time. Oh, yeah. Though, I mean, I, I'm very conflicted about her holding uh, basically a stock of human flesh, of live human flesh for her feasting. But, I mean, he's basically been doing the same, just, well, hunting instead of farming, I suppose. She wasn't here the night the machine came on, staying with her patrons somewhere near. Too good to be burdened with our ignorant company. Hmm. Well, I'll get the words from Akantha. Yes. Akantha. Akantha. She was here in the district. Probably. Here oh, she still. is. Always prepared. Clever lady, that one. Perhaps you'll bring me something. Something to keep me sharp. Then I show you a secret about the machine. Um. Something to make you strong. No, I don't think I want to feed people to you. Not to. F not for strength. Strength is not worth that. Palagina clenches her jaw, her eyes narrowing suspiciously. It's Gonto. His condition has turned him into little more than an animal. Don't do it. Oh, don't worry. That's just re yes. ridiculously evil. Dark. When Once the machine is turned off, we'll free you of your hunger. Wait, why? All of you. Oh. Let's see. Proceed to the bottom. Hello again, Ikanta. You return. What have you come seeking this time? Um, actually two things. First off, let's talk to you about that group of people in the back room. She clucks. I hope you didn't disturb them. Rounding them up is quite the chore. Jeez. Um, I need the words that operate the ink within machine in the tower. <laughs> that fool Aldhelm. He sent you, didn't he? He did. I can hardly believe he's had the cleverness to survive. That simpleton thinks he can understand how to use something without understanding what it is. Or why it is. Yeah, he does strike me as a bit of a fool. But, um, what are you doing? She laughs, a noise that blends the crunch of dry leaves with something piercing and white hot. You feel a hot core of pride smoldering at the center of her soul. <laughs> he dabbles with ancient and powerful devices, with all the finesse of a blacksmith. I see. He sends you here to petition me for aid after years of disparaging my research. I bet he didn't even tell you the tower's name, did he? Uh, I don't think so. That's his problem. Always looking for solutions without caring for meaning. Sure, but you do have the solution, don't you? I mean, also the meaning? I'm curious about both. Humble Aldhelm now, or humble Aldhelm now by demonstrating the value of your research. Or, now tell me the tower's name. Ter Nuneth. It's called Ter Nuneth. They hmm. built the machine atop it to contain souls. Right, I figured that. Place. But the others I've seen, machines scattered all over the Deerwood, are relays built to move souls. Oh. Interesting. So the one that I first saw was a relay, and I presume it moved those people's souls out of their body to somewhere else? Where would they move souls? Uh, another mystery. Hypothetically, anywhere they wished. The real question, as always, is why? No kidding. To intermix them the way a player shuffles his deck? The way a farmer rotates his fields? To collect them like butterflies huh. under glass? Maybe. To melt them down for raw essence? Uh, unfortunately, I don't know. I see. It's too bad. 
I assume the uh, leaden key wants you for your expertise on ruins. You seem to know either to uh, kill you and silence you or to help them in their own work. You seem to know a lot. But no, why would Ingwithans, why would the Ingwithans have wanted to tether souls like this? Perhaps they didn't. Perhaps that's why they built no other machines like this one. Ah, uh, fair. We now see the Anguithans as masters of soul manipulation. But they couldn't have attained their expertise without copious trial and error. Perhaps this was one such experiment. Right, that's a very dangerous experiment, though. Um... Also, they didn't destroy it. Which is interesting as well, if they... If it was truly an error. Seem to know a lot about Tear and Noneth. I read the runes like a journal. I understand their meaning. People like Aldhelm try to read them like instructions, and in so doing, they miss their true meaning completely. I see. And how do you operate the machine atop Tear and Noneth? Oh, back to these tinkers' concerns. And what would you do with these tethered souls if I told you? Um. I don't know yet. I'd release them, harvest them for essence, I'd destroy them. I would try to release them. So you say. And just what would you release them to? They'd abandon their existence here for another somewhere else, equally aimless and meaningless. I mean, that's the cycle of life, Ikantha. I could help you. But I won't. The pride lodged in her soul flares up, twisting into the shape of something that writhes and squeals within her. Here, I have specimens aplenty and time enough to observe them all. It's every scientist's dream. My answer is no. Hmm. <laughs> well, no, that's not every scientist's dream, Akanta. What? But what good is observing all this if you're going to hoard it for yourself? Tell her, Gwyneth, an entire language at your fingertips and she hides it away. Extinguish Ikanta's pride. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what it means by that, but... Let's try that. The vampire doesn't seem to notice as you wrap your mind around the squalling, burning mass. However, it sears your very bones. You jump back, crying out in pain. I won't abandon this opportunity. These souls will remain here, with me, and I'll accomplish more than any animancer in the history of the field. Damn, her pride is strong. And who will know about it? The pride thing flickers as the flame about it abate, around it abates. All I've learned, years of studying the Gwithin language, no one understands it better than me. That counts for something. Yes, but, I mean, the whole point of science is to, you know, increase the collective knowledge of mankind, is it not? And you're not doing so if you hoard your knowledge, if you don't push it out into the wider community. opportunities here are finite. One day that knowledge will die with you. Pride hisses and sputters. It's little more than an ember now. You're wrong! But there's no conviction in her voice. I'll build it forever. I'll cling to it. That will give me... something. Let's extinguish that pride. You reach for it, but it's still too hot to grasp in your mind for more than a second. It may not be much, but it's still something. You can't take that away from me. Teach me what you know. I'll make sure that it grows and your legacy lives on. Your words finally quench her pride, and all that remains is a blackened, diamond-hard rock. You cast it away, where it melts into the darkness. So be it. My studies and efforts shall grow through yours. Good. I'm not gonna, you know, within the bounds of ethics, of course, but. These are the words you need. 
Her cold, dry fingertips rest on your temples. You feel her reaching into your mind, forming images from the darkness. Runes flash through your head, but they're no longer just pictures. They have meaning, and you understand them. They're commands. Something triggers in your mind, a distant memory unearthed from a past life long since buried. Presumably, an Inguithin memory? You can see a vast array of runes, far more than Ekantha has shown you, and you know their sound and their meaning, and how they fit together. The language of Enguith once more at your command. I was wondering if I would get that uh, when it, when I read the first part there. She's putting the meaning of the runes into my head. Something has awakened in your mind. You understand far more than I ever did. <laughs> Take this knowledge, then, and do what you will with Ter Nuneth. Now that you understand its purpose, it will serve you in whatever way you wish. Right. I don't want to harvest these souls, though. Actually, I kind of wonder if that was, maybe that was the purpose, to uh, harvest the souls for power. And while we're at it, I kind of wonder if the Beowak was a uh, accidental result of uh, one of their experiments being within a speaker of dead tongues now and so she surpasses a hundred frustrated scholars in the matter of a few moments I don't suppose you could look at a few books for me <laughs> sure kind of uh, anytime you want really but if we're camping we'll go through some good old books I'd be happy to what do I do with the tower now that I know these words? Um, you said the other towers around the Darewood were constructed to move souls. Why would the Inquithins have wanted to do that? I already asked her that. Is it going to give the same answer? Yeah, yeah, it gives the same answer. What do I do with the tower now that I know these words? Turn it off, I expect. That will be easy now that you can read the runes. The vessels would still roam, but striking them down would return their essence to the cycle. Right. But be careful. That machine controls hundreds of souls, and that volume of essence could easily overload it. Improperly channeling the essence would destroy the machine along with the souls. It would be a terrible loss for posterity. Right. I don't know. Destroying it seems like it might do this place some good. I kind of agree, Adair, but also... Destroying things you don't understand is a, uh... Not always the best move. That you don't understand and fair. Remind me how... Uh, no, no, no. Explain how the control words work. Harnessing the power of Terra Nuneth. It's about understanding what it was designed to do. You know the words and their meanings. You can speak them, and the tower shall obey. So really, uh, Old Helm really could have never done anything. Because he refused to understand. Alright, thank you. Though I really should free these people now. Even if I let her live. No, I'm not going to send them to the top of the tower. The way to the district exit should be safe. Go now. Thank you. We'll never forget this. Sorry, Cantha, but... No, I can't let you eat people. At least be sporting about it. Always a pleasure to speak with someone who appreciates true learning. I am... Willing to just let you sit here, though. I don't feel the need to end her life. Though I suppose she will turn into a vessel herself, will she not? Now that I took away her stock. And, um... Maybe it would be better to just end her now. Alright, Aldhelm. 
Aldhelm looks much worse than before. His rotten flesh hangs loosely, and sores have eaten away patches of skin at his joints. He looks at you with a strange glimmer in his eyes. Don't try it. Flesh. He takes a tentative, sculling step toward you. He doubles over, copping up strings of black bile. He seems to have forgotten about you for a moment. Yeah. A jagged Adra pillar rises in front of you, encased in stonework and run through with copper veins. The panel is covered with runes. You can now understand. You recognize the word for the words for end and for hold. The dial is currently fixed on hold. You also recognize an inscription that the manner uh, in which you turn the dial is a means of throttling the device. No, let's choose end. As the command words leave your lips, the dial sinks into the Adra under your hand. Something like a thunderclap sounds overhead. The glow fades from the machine as it falls dormant. And there we go. Good. And I can't uh, change my decision. That's fine. I, like I said, I kind of don't yes. fully agree with just destroying it. It's, oh, I, I like you can see the houses down there. That's kind of cool. Um, it's too valuable. Uh, well, obviously you need to study it carefully and um, responsibly and ethically, but it's far too valuable to just destroy. Still and silent. As it's you finally wish. Over. Yeah. You not feeling the hunger anymore? Still and silent. It's finally Are over. Are you not going to uh die though? Huh. Well. What is it? I guess Undying Heritage is finished. Yeah, so the Luton Key was interested in the tower, which holds souls in place. That is interesting. And also, yeah, we learned that the uh, Gwithin machines can move souls. I also learned in Gwithin, which now means I can operate them. I wonder if I could go back to that first one and operate it. I wonder. We will do that next time. <laughs>